wanted to do for my first video, I thought, what would people like to see? That kind of thing. And I've done thought, sod them. <laughs> what do I want to make? And I realized, I really like Pat McGrath. So today we are ranking 24 palettes. We're doing the big motherships, the little motherships, and everything in between. I actually have 26, well, maybe closer to 30 because I've got all the extra bits. But we're going to be ranking 24 today. So if you want to see me drink some rum punch while ranking some palettes, stay tuned. So first of all, we're just going to get three of the Blitz Astrals, which just came out Christmas season. The reason I'm going to discount them straight away is because I haven't actually used them. And I think it'd be unfair to talk about how much I like the way they look. So that would include Interstellar Icon, which is this one, this lovely jubbly one there. What gels? Yes. I like dark and moody. It absolutely sings to me. So again, when I get the time and I go through all the palettes that I have, I can't wait to play with that. Next, it is Risque Rose. So that is this one. And the colour that sings to my heart most is Lavender Ring. Oh my god! Like, come on! Come on! Ah, Yeah, so I can't wait to actually use those. So when I get around to it, you know. <laughs> Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video on that. It's my first impressions of playing with all three, actually. I can probably knock that into one video. That'd be fine. And then, last but not least, is Fleur Fantasia. Of the three, probably not the one that sings to my heart the most. Purely because it's quite fair. And, you know, I'm chocolate. So that would probably be the only reason. But, you know, there, there are ways. There are skills. There are tricks to make things like this pop on the chocolate girls. So... Let's discount those three immediately. Next. Okay, now I know straight away this is going to be con controversial, but you know what? I don't care. So, next is going to be Subversive and Sublime. Yes, yes, both of them. So we've got, there we've got, and Sublime. And the reason being, because I... I'm glad I didn't buy these when they first came out because I probably wouldn't have because I became a fan a bit later on I just wanted the whole collection the biggest thing with these okay so the amethyst colour is absolutely gorgeous but this colour here is in both palettes as is dark matter it's in both palettes it's just mm, they're nice and they perform don't get me wrong they, everything here performs fantastically but it just doesn't call to me at all I don't sit down and go you know let me play with that purple likewise with this one I actually adore this green but it just doesn't I don't, it doesn't call to me. These uh, golds actually in brown more call to me, but other than that, it just doesn't call to me. But the mattes are fantastic. Don't let nobody tell you the mattes aren't good. That's, mm. Next is gold opulence. Now I got this, this one came out last Christmas period, so 2019, Christmas 2019. Uh, listen, look at the packaging. Look at her. Come on. She's gorgeous. I remember I actually, story behind this, I ran down to Selfridges. I think it was the 26th, 27th of December with my daughter, my oldest daughter, um, because I wanted it that desperately. I couldn't sleep that night. It was that bad. Now, I love her. She's great. She's fine. She's every day. She works hard, you know. Yeah, I mean, she's nice. The only thing with her is there's no deepening shade. So if I pull her, I need to go and find another palette with a deepening shade, which, to be fair, I often use Mothership 5 when I want a deepening shade. But yeah, she's okay. For every day, she's fine. Uh, do I reach for her? Not as much as I'd like. Actually, I forgot I had her to be honest with you. But yeah, she's gorgeous. Next, we have Christmas 2018 palettes to knock out the park. So, first up, we have Metamorphosis. Now, I had to get some friends in uh, Australia to get me these because I was trying to get them this year, but obviously, they were two Christmases previous. Now, look at her. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've used the ones. Um, she's gorgeous. The problem is. We're repeating shades a little bit with the Christmas shade. I'm going to come on to that a little bit. We're starting to repeat shades. So Smoked Amethyst is a repeat shade. Um, Gold Standard is a repeat shade. And I didn't know this before I got it. So, I mean, it's fine. She's fine. She's absolutely fine. And she's an all shimmer palette as well. She's absolutely fine. I cover her more from my collection than I do to you. She, I don't think to myself, I'm just going to use this. And because this, there are repeat shades, I can find the shades I want from here in other palettes. So next is Bronze Temptation. Again, another one from Holiday 2018. This one I do like. Now, I know it's a bit contradictory because before I said I wasn't feeling the green. Uh, but this one... Mm, it's the green and the brown together. It's just... They do something for me. So I tend to use this one quite a lot. Yeah. And Corruption. If anyone has played Corruption, you know Corruption is really good. It's a really beautiful colour. So I do think this palette is extremely brown girl friendly. So yes, it's ranked quite low, but only because I don't reach for it as much as some of the ones high up. But this, if you can get your hands on any of these, get them because they're gold dust. All right, 
So we are down to Darkstar. I love Darkstar. Look at her. Dark, moody, smoky. Hello. Oh, look at her. This purple is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And then you've got this deeper kind of maroony purple. And I don't like cool tones, but I love this palette. It's, I, you know, that's a lie. I like cool tones when they're dark and moody. I don't like them when they're light because it just makes me look ashy. But when they're dark like this, uh, mama. Yeah, these are nice. These are really gorgeous. So if you can get your hands on this as well. It was on Pat's site up until probably about four months ago. I'm not sure if it's there anymore. But yeah, if you can get your hands on it, go for it. So next, again, I love these palettes and I'm a massive Star Wars fan. So I'm going to do Dark Galaxy and um, Galactic Gold together. Now, the only reason they're ranking so low, because I absolutely love the colours in them, but the only reason they're ranking so low is because they're in Celestial Divinity. That is the only reason. I won't sell them purely because I want them for my collection. But yeah, so we've got Dark Galaxy here. And here's what she looks like. I used the crap out of this last Christmas. Oh, I like anything kind of dark and moody with touches of reds and mauves and, and berry tones. I love it. This is all. I've stopped using her though because she is limited edition and I don't want to muddy her too much. But yeah, look at her. Look at her. She's gorgeous. And then we've got Galactic Gold, which is an all shimmer palette. If I can get, I'll show you the front. And if I can get her open. Now, come on. Again, I've got a thing for purples. Like, this is just beautiful. Like, oh, God. But again, I don't reach for these two palettes just because I have Celestial Divinity now, so I don't need to mess up all three. You know, if you're going to mess up one, mess up one. So, next, we have Bronze Ambition. Now, she probably should have ranked a bit higher, purely because... I've got a new sweetheart in the neutral kind of everyday wear. But yeah, um, before I got one of the palettes that I ranked a bit higher, this is one of my besties. This one I love. It's just so everyday. And what I said about the other palette, Golden Appulence, was there was no deepening shade. She has this. So for instance, you could pop this on the lid and you've got the deepening shades of the brown. Then you can use any one of the shimmers there. It's just, this is a really good palette to have, I think. It's very chocolate girl friendly. This works as a transition. I mean... Do I use it as one? Yeah, I do. I do use a transition. But yeah, it's just, this is extremely everyday friendly. Uh, yeah, so, there you go. On the mission. And then next we have uh, Mothership Subversive. See, there's a little pattern here. Have you noticed the small ones are kind of glassed? Uh, as I said before, I love a purple. I love a purple. And these, all these purples speak to me, especially Purple Rain. Like, she is gorgeous. Look how deep that is look come on that is gorgeous so yeah i'm just gonna smother that on my hand ah, wait hello <laughs> hello oh, anyway so yeah this is gorgeous i like i said i like the dark berry tones i like the pinks and i know not a lot of chocolate girls don't love this but i do i absolutely do i love pinks i love uh deep purples and then when you chuck in a you know, a, a very flattering, warm gold. You can't go wrong. You're like, mmm, hello, mummy. So, yeah, another favourite there. So, next, we have Mothership Platinum Bronze. Now, this was my first foray into cool, cool tones. But look at them. And I know this, this brown is a bit confusing because it's it's cool, but they're not. But then, to be fair, every single one of the shimmers is cool tone. I consider them cool tone anyway. So, and I think that's why I like it. It's like a happy medium between warm and cool, but it's sultry as well. Yeah, so I like this one. I don't reach for it a ton, but when I do, I'm always happy with what I come out with. So that is Platinum Brothers. Next we have Decadence. Now I have Decadence in the Star Wars edition, I have it in the normal gold edition and I have it in the black edition. I need to get rid of two of them because I need to stop hoarding makeup. You can't collect makeup. You can't collect makeup. So, and here's what she looks like. And she smells like vanilla. She's amazing. Now, you know, I forgot how good it smells. Now, the reason I don't reach for this too much, because it is all, all shimmers, but the thing about this is, when you do reach for it, if, you've, if you're using, say I'm using a Viseart palette that's all mattes, I will happily reach for this, knowing that I can create a look that I'm going to be really happy with. 
yeah every single of these colours is gorgeous now remember I said very early on that there was a lot of repeating shades in some of the Christmas palettes from a few years ago gold standard is here um, they've repeated themselves as well and I'm going to show you some more but yeah there's a few repeating colours which is fine it's not Alright, so next up is Iconic Illumination, one of the Blitz Astral Quads. Look at her. Now this brown, oh, come on. I mean, on my skin tone, this brown is fire. I can just imagine warmer tones or tan tones. This must be fire. I mean, look at her. Look. She's gorgeous. And this one here, look at her. There you go. On the skin right there. Gorgeous. As you can tell, I've been playing around these. But yeah, this is a gorgeous palette. It's, it's a nice, everyday but sultry but if you want to turn it to evening you know you can you can bring a little bit of evening to your life yeah i would take this one if like oh, if i was having a christmas party at work but i had to work first and then i went to get changed in the evening this is the palette i would bring because i can this is the day to night literally yeah gorgeous next we have now i ums and ahs about these two but i'm gonna go ritualistic rose purely because this is of the three Blitz Astrals, this is the most meh. Um, she's nice. This brown doesn't really show up on me, funnily enough. I've never had a brown not show up on me, but this one doesn't. Uh, it's not, let me show you, actually, it's quite odd. Okay, it's showing up today, okay, it's making me look like a liar. But if you see it there, it's, mm, it's just not the most, whereas this dark, deep dark one, you can see it. This one's probably too close to my skin tone when I put it on, so that's probably more the problem. But yeah. I like her, she's fine, um, I just think she's a bit, she's a little bit lacklustre, but you can't deny the quality of the shimmers, it's absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, for that reason, she's next. And then finally, Nocturnal Nirvana. Hello, hi babes. This purple, I keep, this is a running theme, right? I like purple. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. and. The greens are there, the yellow is there, the blue is there. This is the kind of palette, it's an accompanying palette. I would bring it out to use with another matte, knowing that I'm going to use that shade, or this shade, or that shade, or this shade. I haven't figured out how to use the whole palette together to make a cohesive look yet. But every time I have used it, it's been phenomenal. So yeah. Next. Now, this is probably the last of the motherships before we get to our top five. And it's going to have the last mothership before we hit our top five. And she is Midnight Sun. She is gorgeous. Look at her. It's this. I'm going to call you. Some people are going to get really offended by what I'm about to say. This tomato shade here. I love it. It doesn't It doesn't come out. Can I even show you? It does. Let me use this hand. because It doesn't come out. So on the finger, it looks like this. And in the pan, it looks like this kind of orangey toned red. But then on the eye, it's this deep, fiery red. It's it's the strangest thing, but the most beautiful thing for me, you know, because I'm chocolate. So yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can't go with a bad look here. Then you've got this deep, dark brown mahogany shade. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then if you want to zhuzh it up, you can use... Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And you can use this just to soften the look. I wouldn't use it with tomato shade because it's, you know, mm, no. But you can use this shade. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I find myself swatching this palette quite a bit, to be honest with you. In between uses, I'll just sit down and swatch my legs because I find it quite a satisfying palette to use. Okay, so now I've reached our top five palettes. And coming in at number five is Divine Rose, the original Divine Rose special edition. Package on. Uh, yeah, she's gorgeous. She's so everyday. One thing I love about her is she's everyday, but every skin tone everyday. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to swatch this one purely because this is my I'm not using palette. I do have it again in a black lacquer that I do use every day. But yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous. I've got no complaints about her. This brown again, it's, and it's a running theme with Pat McGrath. A lot of things come off, the payoff is darker than it is in the pen. So as you can imagine, this one is gorgeous this shade's in actually quite a few of the pans and it's also in her highlighter um, pans but yeah gorgeous absolutely stunning i often find myself i'll use any other palette and then when i want a bit of 
a bit of shimmer, a bit of shine, but every day I'll pull out this one and use this shade here. Yep. It's the Divine Rose. Next we have as our number four, we have the little Rose Decadence. So this is packaging. Here she is. And here's what she looks like inside. Now I didn't think I'd like this. I thought it was a, it was a bit girly for me if I turn this way. I thought it was a bit girly for me, but actually, I used the crap out of this this summer. <laughs> like it, she is good. She makes me happy. We had a great summer in the UK, and um, every time I went out, I'd have my hair in the top knot with this on my eyes. She, she's feminine. She's sexy. She just made me feel fantastic. And uh, tip of the wise, uh, the Juvia's place, the uh, Juvia's place, sweet pinks, and this together behave yeah so rose decadence at number four and then at number three we have subliminal look and that when i first got this one this is probably one of the palettes i got it in a uh, total mothership total when i first got her i probably thought i would never use her but actually this blue oh my god it's just everything and then when you pop this on the in the corner as you can see i've obviously diluted them and then because these are so dark these cool tones are so dark it just works it just it's just gorgeous it just works i find I, myself using this in the autumn months when it's getting a bit darker again it's very sultry and a pop of blue oh it's just it's absolutely stunning so that's my number three and then number two can we guess so far there's only two left and i have all of them so anyway the next one is divine rose two so here's the packaging. again this is the special edition one yet again and here's what she looks like inside this is oh i put my finger in there oh well. so here's what she looks like absolutely stunning so you've got extraterrestrial here so i'm just trying to pat it down i'm doing that you've got extraterrestrial here this is one of my favorite multi-chrome shades ever yeah this palette is just so much fun i feel like i can use any palette in any anything and use this extraterrestrial and it just looks bomb.com it's absolutely fantastic so yeah for that reason and i just find myself reaching for it constantly especially i would say since september when it started getting dark I was reaching for it non-stop and I realised I really, really like this. So yeah, for that reason, I've got to put her in number two. It would be really unfair to put her anywhere else. And come on, look at this packaging. And that's probably blinding you guys a bit, but this packaging is everything. Like right? She brought the fire, you know. But, and I think this is most people's top number one. It's bronze seduction. And you know what? It's just, ah, it's a girl's dream. Just look at her. My one's disgusting, please. Um all that but she's so well loved that you can see she's a little bit disgusting but i just love her this this i can't even say there's one shade that i love more than another but funny enough actually if i had to pick one it'd be this one here whenever i want to do a smoky look irrespective if i want to do a matte smoky, smoky look irrespective if i want to do one with a shimmer i always no matter what palette i start with reach for this shade right here she is absolutely stunning i can't remember super million no that's it is extreme aubergine it's like it's like the safest way to do a, a blown out smoky look without your eyes looking like you've just smeared black all over it so it's the amount of times i've done a smoky look and someone's gone blue is that is that purple so yeah this is gorgeous extremely flattering i think on absolutely everybody rather than just putting black on your lid and then this red here come on when have you seen a uh, metallic red that works like that i mean very rarely on these wash bands but very rarely yeah so for that reason bronze seduction is my number one she's just gorgeous she makes me very happy and whenever i want to go out somewhere and i want to feel good i call on her you can't i don't i don't think i've ever done a look that didn't come out nice calling on her so yep yeah, for that reason bronze seduction is my number one so if you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for more i've got my uh palette collection coming up i've got my 2020 palettes coming up uh yeah so we're gonna have some fun we're just gonna lay back sit back have some fun and watch some palette videos also i do want to start doing some makeup videos and tutorials as well have a bit of fun have a bit of chit chat get ready with me i'd be interested to know what everyone wants to see um so yeah 
thank you for taking the time to watch my video i've had a lot of fun filming it um yeah this has been fun stay tuned thank you peace out